Seacliff. And it's a, it's a very warm day and it's vacation time. And the name of our book is Streganona Takes a Vacation. We always do the Streganona story to start. But this is, uh, this is, um, this is a sequel. Ah, Streganona was having a dream and she was a little girl again and she was in her grandma's house at the seashore. Oh, what a wonderful time they had. Ah, oh, they were swimming and plant, uh, gathering plants and flowers. Ah, her grandma called. This is in the dream. Come, 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 my Strega. And Strega woke up. She was in her house on the hill in a little village in Calabria. Well, all day long, as Strega Nona helped the villagers with, well, with their headaches and their toothaches and all their worries, she kept hearing her grandma's voice. Some of the villagers said to each other, it looks like Streganona needs a vacation. Big Anthony, Babylonia called, Streganona has something on her mind. I know, Big Anthony said, she almost gave the mayor the wrong remedy for his toothache. That's the first time that's ever happened. Streganona looked out of her window and she was sure she heard her grandma calling. How can this be, she thought. Grandma has been in heaven for many, many years. I wish I knew what that dream meant. Well, that very next night, Streganona got her answer. In another dream, she was outside a little house on the hill and opposite her was Grandma. Dear Nona, she said, You've been working so hard all these years. You must take a vacation. Yes, my little seashore house is empty, just waiting for you. Come, come, Nona, come. Streganona woke up. Ah, I'm going. And she fell back asleep with a big smile on her face. Next morning, she asked Big Anthony and Bambolina to come by. Sit down, I have some news. I am going to take a vacation. Oh, when will you go? The day after tomorrow, Streganona said. And when will you come back, said Big Anthony. I'll let you know. I'll send you a message. Streganona said, goodbye. You'll be fine. If you have any questions about which spells to use, look in my big book. If you see anything unusual, go over the mountains and ask my friend, Strega Amelia, to help you. And then she gave them big kisses. Now, mm, Big Anthony, I know you're a good boy and you're going to stay out of trouble. Remember, help Bambolino and most important, don't touch the pasta pot. They all laughed, remembering the day that Big Anthony had flooded the village with pasta. She gave him a big hug too. And off she went and she found that little house by the seashore. Oh, what fun, she said. I'm going to send presents to everybody when she, um, well, while she was at the vacation house. And sure enough, she did. And the day the presents arrived, Big Anthony was outside feeding the goat and uh, Bambolina opened them and Oh, she found candy and oh, she, she noticed that Big Anthony had gotten the candy and she had gotten bubble bath. So she switched them. Bambolina, what, what is bubble bath? Oh, you just put it in your water and it makes lots of bubbles. It's very nice, she said, chewing on the candy. Oh no. So sure enough, Big Anthony poured the bubble bath in. Oh no, look at this. He poured it all in and there were bubbles everywhere. Oh no. The mayor shouted, no, not again, Big Anthony. Oh, at least it's not pasta, Big Anthony shouted, sailing by in a cloud of bubbles. Well, at the seashore, a dove flew in with a message. Ah, oh, what have you done? What have you done, Big Anthony? Well, she rushed back and the mayor said, well, at least the village will be very clean. No real harm done. Except when the wrong present gets in the wrong hand, Striganona said. I hope you've learned your lesson, Babalina. 
Oh, Strega Nona, I'm so sorry. Me too, said Big Anthony. But Strega, this means you'll never be able to take a vacation, the mayor said. Oh no, Strega Nona answered. Yes, I will. Because the next time I'm going to take Babalina and Big Anthony with me. Oh, what a funny story. Not pasta, but bubbles this time. All right, and it's our friend Miranda's birthday. And I'm sure that her husband Jim and her daughter Maya and her son Jackson had a wonderful cake. And in fact, I know her friends all had a wonderful celebration. But we're going to have a tiny one, a very tiny one indeed, but a lovely one. Vanilla or chocolate, what will Miranda's cake be like? Martha and Clara and Molly and Alice and Teddy and Jolene have all voted for chocolate, as has Riley and Bevy and Henry and Dee and Ben. Mm -hmm. They're all chocolate. And uh, the vanilla are uh, KJ and Sophia and Harris and Maya, Joseph and Christopher. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gray, Audrey and Lila. Yes, and Patrick and Hannah. And, oh, of course, Nora and Carson. These are a lot of vanillas, yes. I think vanilla, I think vanilla is going to be the cake again. It was yesterday. So sure enough, I counted 11 chocolate and I counted 15 vanilla. All right, Miranda, a vanilla cake for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Miranda. Happy birthday to you. And thank you. Thank you, Oberon. And thank you, Aaron Purr. And thank you, of course, Cameraman Dan. And remember, I love you all very, very much.